Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's that moment you've all been waiting for, because here he is, Mr. Terry Allen. It won't be easy, you'll think it's strange When I try to explain how I feel That I still need your love after all that I've done and You won't believe me All you will see is a guy you once knew Although he's dressed up to the nines At sixes and sevens with you To let it happen, had to change. Couldn't stay all my life down at here. Looking out of the window, staying out of the sun. So I chose freedom, running around trying everything new. Nothing impressed me at all. I never expected it to from Evita. Don't cry for me, Argentina The truth is I never left you All through my wild days, my mad existence I kept my promise, don't keep your distance And as for fortune, and as for fame I never invited them in Though it seemed to the world they were all I desired They are illusions They're not the solution they promised to be The answer was there all the time I've loved you and hope you love me So Don't cry for me Argentina The truth is I never left you All through my wild days, my mad existence I kept my promise, don't keep your distance. <laughs> <laughs> I said too much there's nothing more than I think that I could say to you but all you have to do is look at me to know every word I say is true don't cry for me Argentina the truth is I never left you all through my wild days a mad existence I kept my promise don't keep your distance don't cry for me, don't cry for me The truth is I've been there all of my life Through my wild days, your mad existence I kept my promise, don't keep your distance oh, Don't cry for me, Argentina The truth is I've never loved you All through my wild days, my mad existence I kept my promise, don't keep your distance No everybody oh look at all the ladies tonight got all the nice oh, hi how are you the romantic song right now we'll dedicate to the beautiful ladies in our audience I don't have to point them out they know who they are the ones with that little aloof look you know it's a beautiful song a song that we've got to sing just to you come bring me your softness comfort me through all this madness woman don't you know with you I'm born again 
Come give me your sweetness. Now there's you, there is no weakness. Lying safe within your arms, I'm born again. I was half my own instead with none. Reaching through this world. Show me your kindness In your arms I know I find it Oh woman, don't you know with you I'm born again Lying safe with you I'm born again Chuck Mendoza. All right. Thank you. Pretty song. We'll have a good, good time, won't you gather round? Smile a while, loosen up, listen to our sound. Lots of happy people, smile and feeling good. Grooving with the music, like I knew they were. Having a good, good time. I said we're having a good, good. Talking about having a good time. Springfield on a Saturday night. Whoa, West Springfield at that. Yes. Try not to wake everybody up. A little later on, we're going to get naked and get to know each other, so let's All right. get in. Let's go. All right? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take you to Las Vegas right now. Go down the strip and see who's playing tonight. Caesar's Palace has got a headliner room called Circus Maximus, and let me tell you the magic for the ladies and the undergarments fly. Every time the announcer says, yes, I heard it on your breath, lady, <sighs> excitement right away. This is Tom Jones, yeah! My, 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 Delilah oh. Why, 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 Delilah And so before they come to break down the door don't give me delight, I can't take it anymore. I say, oh, give me delight, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard myself here. Oh, you listen to, listen to the women applaud. Oh, yeah. You women are sick. Do you know the amount of pain Tom Jones endures for you ladies? You ever listen to this man suffer in a ballad? The anguish? I've been in love so many times. <laughs> I thought I knew the score. <laughs> it's his shorts. It's cutting off circulation. Oh, half his, 
Okay. Tell you what. Let's go down. This time we're going to see Al Green. Al. Al Green is a soul singer, soul singer, and Al's here tonight. Now, if you've ever been to a soul concert, you know it's like no other concert. So I'm going to make Mr. Green at ease and give him a very soulful welcome. Pardon me for a second while I get in the mood. Come on, mother. Get down. Get funky. All right. Ready for Freddy. Here it comes. All right. of a snowstorm here last night. The lady over here saying, that sounds like something drug-oriented to me. What you mean? How you have shaggy mamas and do-right daddies if you think your heart can take it. Come spread your wings and fly without. Single and red and mingle. Woo! Get your grapple grippers on. Come down get some potty for the body because some kind of bad scene be coming your way today. Am I convincing you? Ladies and gentlemen, here's my main man. Smooth. Mr. Al Green. lady came up last night. She said, you know, your Lauren Green was exquisite. Lady had a big bonanza on her, too. Yeah. Never mind. Let's bring Kurt down. Kurt, come down here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring down my main man. This is Kurt Milliken, and we're going to take you back into time and see two guys, Bill Medley and Bobby Hatfield, the Righteous Brothers. Righteous Brothers in the early 60s, a lot of big songs. Let's return to those thrilling days of musical yesteryear. Bill and Bob. You ready for this? The Righteous Brothers, yeah! Girl, I can't let you do this. Let you walk away. Girl, how can I live through this? When you're, I wake up for each day. You're my soul. Without you, baby, what the... Oh, God, Terry, just wipe it off. I'm sorry, a little lower there than I can plan on. What the... Oh, Jesus. I don't want it back. Sorry. What the... Lady tried to convince me to buy different kind of shorts today. Yeah, boxer shorts. She told me I'd be a swinger. A lot of truth to that. I don't get it. What good? Well, halfway. What good am I? What good am I? Kurt Milliken. Oh, Kurt, they love you. Two guys in the back wind. Who? Tell you what. What? Let's, do you know who's here? Ray Charles is here tonight. Hey. Yes. Hey. Ray Charles is here tonight. Complete with one of the best girl backup groups in the business, the lovely Ray Letts. Are you back there, ladies? Now you're coming alive, aren't you, sir? Yes. Nearsighted businessman going. <laughs> Tell you what, Ray Charles is here, but Ray Letts are here who could ask for anything more. Ladies and gentlemen, the genius. I'm Ray Charles. Come out here, Ray. You ready, Ray? All right, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, don't, yeah. don't put me by the businessman, okay? No. Okay, yeah, all right. He's looking at you real funny. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. All right. Ha! Yeah. All right. Oh, yes. Got it. I'm in a groove. Uh-huh. I knew you had to do something like that, you turkey. Ha-ha! Yeah. Oh, I'm a 
down home for my don't you treat me this way? I've been back on my bed someday. They can tell them, don't care if you do on a hunter still. Ain't got no money, ow, you ain't no girl. I can't say if you say so. so. Have to pack my things and go for hit, hit the road, road Jack. Jack. And don't you come back, back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hold it, hold, hold it, girls. Road, hold it, hold it. Man, I might be blind, but I ain't deaf. Man, kind of sound like the gay Supremes, don't they? I know some been funny. I've been sleeping with the little ones back there. <laughs> All the advantages of being blind. Yeah. I ain't that blind, sir. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. You know, the other day I was on television with Barbara Wawa. Wawa. Walters. Barbara Walters, yes. And she said to me, she said, Way, way to what do you attribute your success in this whole business? I said, Barbara, the way you say a tribute, man, it sends me, you know. I said, Barbara, what I do? To act soulful every single night, I have my limousine driver stop at my local McDonald's. Get some soul yeah, food. get some soul food, that's right. I have 16 Big Macs. 16 Big Macs. Uh huh. Four sides of fries. Four sides of fries. Yeah, that's right. Uh, one McChicken, that's a new one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. two milkshakes, strawberry. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And one box of Ronald McDonald and cookies. I get into the cookies, yeah. All right. I'll tell you, I go on to the studio, and it's easy to have soul with McDonald. Ah! Oh! Oh! Then, huh? Once a month, whether you need to or not. Yeah. Yeah. Go in there and get a McBurglar and a McFeast and have the McShits. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, I've, yeah, all the sensors. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, I said, don't you come back no more. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tell you what, let me have a serious talk with the fellas in our audience. Gentlemen, we've got to unite. Women have overstepped their bounds. Listen to this conversation, nightclub. Margaret, look at the ass on that one. And they're talking about you, sir. I mean, here you are, sitting there at the end of the bar, got on your best J.C. Penny John Travolta pants, your kiss belt buckle, your tie-dye shirt, couple chains around your neck, got your hair all slicked back on one side, glass of Perrier, you are together. Suddenly, you make your move. Because there she sits across the room. One or two beers to get your courage up. You move. And every step you take, you realize how nearsighted you are because she's getting uglier by the step. <laughs> now you've committed yourself to a project here. Two choices go to the can, forget about it. Second choice, just the shorts, truck back. <laughs> now, don't you find it amazing that that same lady can look so damn much better after 14 beers? Get her on the dance floor, you are wild and crazy. <laughs> Load her in a camper, take her home. Plan A goes into action. Up goes the fire. Down go the lights. Two cans of malt liquor. Spare no expense. And watch out for the bull. And you ladies know what kind of bull we're talking about, don't you? We're gonna hear a lot of bull here. Now comes big moves. What record to put on the turntable? I wanna make a few suggestions. Start off the evening with an album called for lovers only. Love Unlimited Orchestra and the voice of Barry White. I oh, will love you. And I'll give you no sound check. And I'll get this all in your chicks. You got a uh 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 uh. You got ooh ooh. No, no, one damn word Barry's saying, but you know he's getting down. Now, if that doesn't work, you gotta go for something a little heavier, the disco queen. Donna Summer. Remember her first album, Love to Love You? That was the most sensuous album ever recorded. Remember that? <sighs> love to love me. Oh, oh, love to love me. Oh, oh, oh. I want to be there when Donna records. They got her on a studio floor somewhere. Donna Summer, take one, and somebody does. Can you imagine if Barry and Donna ever did an album together, what it would sound like? <laughs> like a Tarzan movie. I'll tell you what, though. When in doubt, I whip it out. No, Phil, no, 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 leave it out. Leave it out, Phil. Phil said, no, no. This is Filthy Phil. You'll hear more of him as the show goes on. Cut the tape. All right, I'll tell you what. 
<laughs> All right. Whip it out. Did you say that? Let me ask you a question. What's, what's your first name, ma'am? Jane? You think you know Jane pretty well, right? No? No? You met her tonight. Well, how would you like to know Jane better? I'm getting in trouble here, right? Okay. This is Jane a few years ago, high school. Jean, I'm sorry. Jean. Jean, 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 you want to get in the back seat? No, I'd rather stay up here with you. <laughs> My kind of woman, Jean. Jean, yes, okay. <laughs> Tell you what, Johnny Mathis has been there when we've needed him most. Let's bring Johnny out here. You talk about one of the most sweet, soft, soulful sounds in a long time. Here's Johnny. Yes. Come on, John, swish on out there. And chances are Oh, I have it silly dream The moment you care And me Oh, chances are Your chances are Awfully good And oh, Chances are your chances are of the good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hey, you know what these people want to hear? What? They want to hear some Neil Diamond. I know yeah. it when they say Neil it is. Evil does he, yeah, 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 she does now. You see, my, 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 my girl's out of sight, oh, yeah. Ha! Says she loves me, yes, yes, she does now. He gonna show me the wee tonight. She got the way to move me, Cherry. She got the way to move me, hey, Cherry, baby. She got the way to move me. Oh, come on, Cherry. She got the way to move me. Sing it out now, huh? Sing him a song, yeah. He won't take it long now, no, 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 no. All right. Ah, uh, thank you. Elvis Presley's all we got left. To, why not do Elvis at least? If I can get the lip and the leg working at the same time. These shorts, I tell you, it's just a lot of room there. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, 1955, what can you say? Elvis! Okay. Good boy, careful, home somewhere, all alone. You get all of it, please, please, telephone, don't do it. Don't I don't want no one to love. I'll say no baby faces, you're all thinking of. And it don't be cruel, but to a heart is here. Oh, a cramp, sir, help. Guess not, huh? Go ahead, back up a little more. I'll rub it. Went away. <laughs> Didn't say that last night. Well, please. Yes. Shh, shh. Oh, oh, gotta be clean. Oh, 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 oh baby. This is it. Oh, take it. Oh, I said no, no more. Thank you. Ha! Tell you what. How about, nice audience, I'd like to do one more. I never get a chance that often to do it. I think you'd like it. I'd like to do myself. Yeah. I've done all the other ones. Well, excuse me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am exactly like this. You're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen, now, because here he comes on Natural, Mr. Terry Allen. Go on, Terry, show him your stuff. Whoa. 
all kinds of food. Yeah. What a rude crowd. I never fell in love. <laughs> oh, better. It seems that I'm the only one. Whew. Creeping. I have been thinking of West Springfield on a Saturday night. Wow, wait. Uh, my mom used to say, Terry, when you grow up, you will be in West Springfield. And I used to go, oh, mom, please. Kill me while I'm young. No, no I'm just teasing. <laughs> we've had, we've got a lot of nice people here. We have nice people. We've had a good time. <laughs> cute, cute. No, I get upset because when I come here, I have to come to Bradley. I usually fly everywhere we go. And something about riding on U.S. air that just kind of hits me wrong, you know? I mean, they changed the name, trying to fool everybody, you know? <laughs> Agony Airlines, yes. Things were super on my flight up here. It took six and a half hours from Pittsburgh to here. Can you believe that? 35 feet. <laughs> Things were super until the stewardess came down the aisle with the drinks. Want some tag? <laughs> hey, that lady had the most beautiful black hair I've ever seen. It's just a shame it came from underneath her arm. Oh! Hey, they're trying new things to encourage people to fly, though. Instead of drinks on U.S., you get this. Pass this guy in front of you. Maybe it just seemed like it took six hours to get here. Came roaring into Bradley, and I came up in the limousine. And I always like to come here because I like to revisit towns to see if they've changed from the last time. I published a book this year. It's called Musician's Guide to North America. Now, this book, i got to tell you, is going to be a bestseller. What I've done is I've gone to a lot of cities all over the United States, and I've put them into categories by people. I don't go for motels or hotels or restaurants. I go for people. Now, last time we were here, I came roaring into West Springfield, stopped at the traffic light. Beside me was a 450 SL Mercedes, SLC, baby blue. I thought, mm-hmm, there's some cash here somewhere. Star in the book. Beautiful blonde sitting in the car, a little fur coat on, had her hair all done. I thought, woo, women, too. Two-star town. We're both waiting for the light to change. Here she is. <laughs> Welcome to West Springfield. And she had to look at it. Kind of looks like Washington to be holding just right. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yes, the things we do in our cars. Rush hour traffic, you drop a cigarette between your legs. Ah! Oh, God. I'm going to burn the seats, all the seats, to hell with the seats, save the good stuff. And then a bus goes by and they're all looking down at you. Try to explain to 37 people why you got your hand in your crotch. Don't you love the word crotch, sir? Isn't that a beautiful word? Crotch. Bill, the next pair of pants, you're going to have to make the crotch a little longer right here. because It's just a very effective word. Now, what if turkey was crotch instead of turkey? We'd all be eating crotch on Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, yes, so uh, I'll have a piece of the white crotch. No, no, no dark crotch for me, no. Bill, you're going to have to let my turkey out. It's... Watch this conversation tonight. Margaret, do you have to go yet? No, I don't. Well, I'll wait. Women go to the can in teams, and do you know why? There's a vicious can monster in there, and it eats single women. You in here by yourself? Yes, I am. <laughs> What happens if these guys want to go here? Say, Pete, you think about going to the crapper? You know what it is? Men go in there, and it's serious business. It's embarrassing. Face the wall. <laughs> Try and look as macho as you possibly can. Never look to your left or right, even though you want to compare. Every now and then, there is somebody going, look at number three. Ever walk out of the restroom trying to be cool with three and a half feet of toilet paper on one shoe? Every guy in this room, this has happened to you. You go to the, you go to the sink, you wash your hands, water all over the front of your pants. You know it's water, I know it's water. But how do you leave? Because you don't want someone to go, well, looks like Harb's pissed himself. Use the dryers in there, man. That's what they're for. <laughs> hey, try to explain to three guys what you're doing there. 
I was a little cold outside, thought I'd warm it up. <laughs> mm -hmm, sure. Eish. Things happen to all of us, you know. You hang up your coat and you drop a good ballpoint pen in a can, you know. Got to make that decision. Is it worth it or not? Bick, damn it. <laughs> Go for it every time. He's got a big you? pile of them at home. <laughs> Even goes for pencils and they float. You guys have been super. Let's get on with this. What kind of man is this? An empty shell. A lonely selling witch. An empty heart must well. What kind of limps are these? Whoops. Sorry. Delayed with every kiss. And whispered empty words of love that left me alone like this. Once in my life Never be lonely with you though New York, New York New York, New Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In the heart of New York City lies the center of musical theater in America. It's a street called Broadway. What we're gonna do just for you tonight is uh, show you a few scenes from some of the musicals that made Broadway what it is today. Following an introduction from Cabaret, we take a look at one of the longest running musicals on Broadway, a thing called Fiddler on the Roof. And after Tevye's plea for riches, we glimpse at 1979's Tony Award winner for best play about an English throat-slitting barber that's called Sweeney Todd. And we're off to Spain to ride with that Knight of the Wolf of Countenance. You guessed it, that's Don Quixote in Man of La Mancha. And we end the show up with a little excerpt from the rock opera Jesus Christ Superstar. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, begins. Ah, you look very beautiful tonight. The waitresses look beautiful. The bartenders look beautiful. Even the orchestra looks beautiful. Everyone looks wonderful. Hello. Welcome in the avenue. Welcome, Freitag. said of Tevia. Tevia is a poor Russian dairyman of the Jewish faith with really no more to worry about in life than how his ducks and his geese and his chickens will be fed, how his daughters will be married off, but all of this with a dream, a dream that maybe one day, God willing, he might become a rich man. Ah, but the Tevia's way of thinking for now, it's about as probable as, say, a fiddler on the roof. Maybe 
be a condominium in Miami. Oh, dear Lord, you made so many, many poor people. Ah, he likes because it's no great shape it being poor. Huh? It's no great on the rise. So far for the things are terrible. If maybe I had said a small fortune, eh? <laughs> All day long and the the boom if I the man I would not the work out if I the rich I don't need a tiger digital man I'd build a big tall house with a room by the desert right in the middle of the town a fine tin roof where the rear will flow below and everyone on stack is just coming up one different look coming down one more living nowhere just for sure and it won't make one bit of difference if I answer right or wrong cause when you're rich they think you're no, <clears throat> no. He preached. All day long, I'm busy, 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 His skin was pale as I was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He trod the path the few who trod. It's a Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of Fleet Street. 1979 Tony Award winner is a very bizarre tale indeed. It's a story of a 19th century English barber by the name of Sweeney Todd. Now Sweeney's had his wife, Lucy, and his daughter, Joanna, taken from him by a lecherous old judge. Sweeney's been sent to prison on a trumped-up charge. Well, after 15 years, he finally escapes. He comes back to London with one thing in mind. That is to find his wife and his daughter and to get this old judge into a barber chair and give him an extremely close shave. Well, along the way, Sweeney meets Mrs. Lovett. Now, Mrs. Lovett is an enterprising old woman in the meat pie business. In fact, she's reported to make one of the worst meat pies in all of London, but there's a reason for this. There's a meat shortage on it, she just can't get decent filling for her pies. Well, one thing leads to another, and we realize that both of them are quite mad because she convinces Sweeney that he needs to practice on less honorable throats before he gets the judge into the chair. Now, what to do with all that lovely meat? Oh, you figured it out, I see. Make it into meat pies, of course. Now, in this particular scene, Sweeney's talking with Mrs. Lovett, saying, he's back. And they all must die. And Sweeney, well, Sweeney will have his vengeance. And what if none of the souls were saved? They went to the maker and back of the shade. I will have you, my Sweeney, my Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of Fleet Street. There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit and from another world inhabited. But not for long. They all deserve to die. Tell you why, Mrs. Lover, tell you why. Because in all of the whole human race, Mrs. Lover, there are two kinds of men and only two. There's a one staying put in his proper place, one with his foot in the other one's face. Look at me, Mrs. Lover, look at you. No, we all 
deserve to die. Tell you why, Mrs. Lover, tell you why. Because the lives of the wicked should be made for the rest of us that will be a relief. We all deserve to die. And I'll never see Joanna. No, I'll never hug my girl to me. Finished! All right, you, sir, how about a shave? Come and visit your good friend, Sweeney. You, sir, two, sir, one to the grave. I will have vengeance. I will have salvation. Who, sir? You, sir, no one's in the chair. Come on, come on, Sweeney's waiting. I want you, bleeders. You, sir, anybody. Gentlemen, don't be shy. No, not one. Man. No, nor ten men, nor a hundred can assuage me. I will have you, <laughs> and I will get him back, even as he gloats. In the meantime, I'll practice on this honorable throat. While my Lucy lies in ashes, and I'll never. See my girl again, but no work awaits. I'm alive at last, and I'm for a His real name was Cervantes, and having been cast into prison for crimes against the Spanish Inquisition, Cervantes is confronted by the inmates to indeed prove his innocence or guilt. But being a player of plays, he can only do this in a way he knows how, that is to show them what they look like. So he starts by saying, I will impersonate a man, his name, Alonso Quijana, a country gentleman no longer young. And being retired, he has much time for books. And he studies them from morn through night, and often through the night to morn again. And all he reads oppresses him and fills him with indignation of man's murderous ways towards man. And he ponders the problem. How better a world to make where evil brings profit and virtue none at all. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives the strangest project ever imagined to become a knight errant to sally forth to roam the world in search of adventure to right or wrong to mount the crusade to raise up the weak and those in need no longer will he be famed Alonzo Quijana an adulterous knight and his Don Quixote. Delamonja, help me now, the bleak and the pearl of a whale that beats and a Boston can be. And the knight with his hand of a slave little pearl held and his own leg to bear. I am a Don Quixote, the lord of La Mancha, my destiny calls. I go, and the wild winds of fortune will carry us all. So with us, so ever they blow. Onward to glory I go. Having pledged his love to really know more than well a dishwash maid, her real name is Aldonza. But to Don Quixote, it's his Dulcinea, his queen. And he talks to her of his great love for the quest. In in the old man's insanity, he is still somehow more sane than you and I. Then you and I will, and you and I will ever hope to be. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable birth, to bear. 
to run, but the brave dare not go. This is my quest to follow that star. And no matter how helpless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause. To be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know if I alone leave to this glorious quest that my heart will love peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest and the world will be better for this that one man scorned and covered with scars still strong with his last ounce of courage One of the most controversial works in the last few years has been that of two young Englishmen, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, the rock opera Jesus Christ Superstar. Now, it's very important we take note of the author's intentions. Their wish was to take the last seven days in the life of Jesus and portray him as a man, a good man, with trials and tribulations, with much frustration and confusion, but nonetheless, just a man. Now, it's Act Three, Thursday night. All his friends are fast asleep. We find Jesus walking in the Garden of Gethsemane, knowing uh, well and good his fate is sealed, and yet talking with God and asking why must he die? For what? Tried for three long years and now brought to this. Why? I only want to know. I only want to say. If there is a way Take this cup away from me For I don't want to taste its poison Feel it burn me I have changed I'm not as sure as when we started then I was inspired but now I'm sad and tired listen surely I've exceeded expectations tried for three years it seems like 30 could you ask as much from any other man but if I die see the saga through do the thing 
things you ask of me Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me, nail me to the tree I have to know, have to know my God Have to know, have to know my God Want to see, want to see my Lord Want to see, want to see my Lord If I die, we will for my reward If I die, we will for my reward have to know, have to know my God, have to know, have to know my God. Why, why should I die? Oh, why should I die? Can you show me now? I would not be killed in vain. Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Show me there's some reason for your wanting me to die. You're far too keen on where and how, but not so hard on why. All right! Oh, die! See? See how I'll die? Well, all right. All right! Oh, die! You can see me, you can touch me. I was inspired, but now I'm sad and tired. After all, I've tried for three years. Seems like 90. Why then am I scared to finish what I started? What you started? I didn't start it. God, thy will is hard, but you hold every card. I will drink your cup of poison. Nail me to your cross and break me. Beat me, beat me, kill me. Change my Thank you very much. I oh, appreciate that. If you'll love, please forgive the hair and the makeup. I'd like to do one more song for you. Before I do, though, I can say you've been really, really super tonight. And uh, I'd like for you to meet some very special people to me very, very quickly. Kurt Milliken, bass. Steve Marcus, drums. Chuck Mendoza, sax. Phil Brazil, trumpet. Bill Crane, keyboards. Couldn't do it without him. Sounds of joy. And we couldn't do it without you as well. You guys have been super. We realize that this is a very unusual place for theater to be done, but I've always felt that it really doesn't matter at all where it's done as long as you do it with good taste. And I trust we've done that for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very nice. The song I'd like to do for you is a very special one. I've been doing it for a long, long time now. A song written by Paul Anka that I doubt very much if you've ever heard. But a song that's got a great deal to say. In an all-time negative world, it's nice to be positive. And that's what this is all about. I'm not anyone, no, not. 
just anyone I have the right to lead a life fulfilled with every need I'm not just any man designed to fit someone's plan I have my own desires all the things a man aspires but I'll not be used misled deceived or abused no sir not me hey I'm free I'll not give away this freedom I have it's mine to say, to say I do, or I don't, I will, or perhaps I won't, know thyself, these words are true, know thyself, I know I do, I've toiled a while, but not in vain I remove the child the man remains life's filled with those who fail the weak the wrong the meek the frail those who refuse to try those who just live to die but I one of those I'm full of pride I suppose I'll say it loud I am proud I'll not be a space just a no one or just another face no sir not me no sir not me To say, to say I'm me, I am me. Thank you very much. You've been a super audience. Thank you. God bless you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.